We're at the ocean today. Basically, we're going for like the world's first water skip the ocean on the snowmobile and uh, land on an island out there. If this sinks here, it's bad day. Not gonna be good. Usually, I really wanna be the one riding the machine. Like if it's a dirt bike, a snowmobile, whatever it might be, like I wanna be a part of it. Don't wanna be a part of this one. <laughs> I don't know how legal this is. As long as it doesn't sink, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Technically, just a jet ski. Yeah, you're right. There's just something about being so out, out of your element and like the ocean is just this intimidation factor. Like it's completely wrong. It's it's already wrong to like put a snowmobile on the water, but to do it on the ocean, it's like there's not even snow around it. Who owns the ocean? No, I mean, it's like the world. Let me know how that goes. Yeah, you, you, like, tell, you tell the cops or whoever is going to show up i'm cuffed i'm like i thought this was america the interesting thing about it is you have to come out go around the pier through the mooring zone through a canal it's so freaking loud like as soon as we start that thing we just gotta go people are gonna be staring oh, 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 oh. <laughs> took that fucking bar into my back so hard there's a reason i was here i was gonna help i didn't need help <laughs> after a solid start <laughs> You do, Florida. You do. Empress happened. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> yep. Empress, you need. <laughs> you want to ride on the back? Ne next, next month. All right. <laughs> you nervous? Yeah, very nervous. I'm nervous, and it's I'm not even stakes. doing it. Some years, you're the first one on a snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have nuts. <laughs> I tell you, man, you got it. <laughs> I told you it'd be okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys it's made me more nervous. You look so easy. That's why he's our go to watercross guy. Yeah, oh boy. This woman's like sunbathing on her paddleboard, like right in where CJ's about to go. So I'm like, Excuse me, miss. Um, my friend's about to drive a snowmobile, and I think he's gonna be driving straight towards me. So I'm just letting you know. She's like, do you want me to move? I'm like, you don't have to, but I just want you to know it's going to be loud and might look a little reckless. <laughs> Should we do another lap? It's tough because like right now we've done it and we've done it well and we don't have to rescue anything. Honestly, I say we get it in the truck. Let's hit the bar. This was a win. <laughs> Evan's so nervous he opted to do camera duty. That's look saying him, something. Look at him. He's shaking right now. Look at the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like people might have already said some stuff. Maybe we gotta get out of here, honestly. I think we go back and count it as a win. Alright. <laughs> Before we get in trouble. Probably a good idea. Alright, here we go. You're drawing a crowd, CJ. I got so squirrely there, I almost hit the both sides of this. <laughs> Alright, let's load this thing up and get out of here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was really an adrenaline dump. I like to consider myself a pretty big snowmobiler, but uh, you are the only one of any of us to snowmobile in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> You're a pioneer. Alright, there's a guy on a phone walking down the other side of the pier, and he's like, I don't think he knew it was a snowmobile. He's like, these guys here were, were doing, going way too fast in the no-wake zone. Oh really? So he's calling Let's somebody. Get out of here. 
Yeah, go grab Evan and let's go. Unbelievable. Where are you guys from? Argentina. Oh, great. Here we go. Good to go. Let's get out of here. Back in the snow where snowmobiles are meant to be. We figured it only makes sense to go from snowmobiling on the ocean to snowmobiling on the proper snow. I mean, use them for what they're supposed to be used for. Well, some people would argue differently. I've never actually seen CJ ride a snowmobile on the snow. I don't mess with the snow stuff. <laughs> so we just got a uh, blizzard. So now we actually have quite a bit of snow. We haven't had much snow this winter in Minnesota, which comes at a pretty bad time because it's the end of winter. But this might be one of the last times we go snowmobiling for the year because we're going on an RV trip next week. And by the time that we get back, it's probably all gonna be melted. So Hopefully. we're gonna take advantage of what we got. Me and my buddy, you make it all of this money. Yeah, I know it's rude to be bragging. They never catching the slack. Nothing better than a good old wheelie tail stander. Oh, I messed that up. Snowmobile tail stander. Y'all better stop. Me and my boy gon' climb to the top. Sidekick game like Calvin and Hobbes. Just about me to run. Y'all know me, I'm down for the cops. Y'all know us, we start the party. Let's go way back like Dr. Marty. Either die legend like John Lennon. I'll end up solo like Paul McCarty. What's this guy's deal with running over trees? I love running over trees. Yeah, we can tell. Me and my buddy, we make it all of this money. Yeah, I know it's rude to be bragging. Never catching the slack. Me and my buddy, we working hard for this money. You know I've been in my bag. Why do y'all got it like that? Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Me and my boy, you turn to the top. Sidekick gave like Calvin and Hobbes. Y'all in a row. Y'all know me, I'm down for the cops. Y'all know us, we start the party. Go way back like Doc and Marty. We the die legend like John Lennon. I'll end up solo like Paul McCarty. Well, that's probably it for snowmobiling this year. Next time you see one of these, you'll probably see it in the summertime. Back on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, CJ surprised Ken with this anti-vaping sign. Everyone absolutely loved it, uh, except for Ken, as you can imagine. So he wanted to come and uh, <laughs> deface it. Dude, I'm just an innocent bystander on this one. I want nothing to do with this. It can't be legal, like going up there and... I, I don't know if it is. Why this is so funny to me. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe he's actually doing this. Yeah, is this it, illegal? I, that's what I was asking too. I just called the cops on right now for vandalizing my son. <laughs> oh, dude, he's gonna have to stand on the side. There's no way, Ken's not gonna do that. Oh, he's gonna just do it like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's got the, the long roller. <laughs> Dude, he's not even covering it. Ken has taken matters into his own hands and is literally painting over the sign. I don't know if this is legal, Ken. I'm calling the cops. Is he mad? He's not happy. Well, obviously, but I mean, he seems in a pretty damn good mood painting this. Well, yeah, no shit, he's finally covering it up. You can control it from the bottom. Can you actually? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. He was hoping we weren't smart enough to figure it out. Dude, is he stuck up there now? I Yeah, I think so. All right, Ken. Well, <laughs> I'll be seeing you later. All right, Tish. Permanent red paint, okay? Start this thing up again. CJ. See you later. That was your chance, Ken. So when your plan backfires, look at him. At least you got it covered up most of the way. Can I get down now? Is he actually <laughs> stuck up there? Yes, dude. You took the key. Should I actually leave? I mean, it would be funny, but it's like either way, he's got to come down. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, it slipped. <laughs> now you're staying up there, Ken. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Howdy. Boys, what's up? How's it going?
Yeah. Someone called that you were vandalizing. Oh. Oh, oh really? Really? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Uh, hold on, I paid say, for it. You, well, yeah, Am I able to press to charges on him? <laughs> He's stuck up there, so you have to climb up there to handcuff him. Well, we got like, a couple hundred calls. All right. Do you guys need anything? No, we're Thank good. you. We're good. We'll get out of here. All right, how are we going, guys? Yo, somebody did call us in. They did, yeah. Call Ken in yeah. for vandalizing. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if you got spooked out by the cops, but it's still pretty obvious. Yeah, but there's <laughs> enough numbers covered up now. It makes me feel good. It okay. wasn't even your phone number. You changed it. It was my phone number. Yeah. <laughs> still had some emotional connection to his yeah. old one. You gotta prove a point when somebody doxes you. <laughs> my cop buddy goes, it got called in multiple people. Good Samaritans. Yeah. If they were right. good Samaritans, they would have done it before me. Yeah, Ken. Somebody else <laughs> goes up there and, and crosses out your phone number. Yo guys, taking a little break in the video to thank our sponsor, Stamps.com. Stamps.com is a service that we've been using pretty much as long as we've been shipping merch and it helps us get the orders to you as quickly as possible. Stamps.com lets you print your own postage or your shipping labels right from your home or office. <laughs> Postage rates just increased again. Luckily, Stamps.com has some of the best discounts in the industry. With rates you literally can't find anywhere else, like up to 84% off USPS and UPS. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. So basically, Stamps.com is a one-stop shop for all your shipping and mailing needs. Get access to USPS and UPS shipping services right from your computer. And if you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. So sign up at Stamps.com slash C boys tv and get a four week trial plus free postage as well as a free digital scale there's no contracts or commitments that's stamps.com slash cboys tv now back to the video look at the size of that thing all right boys here's the chariot for the next two weeks nice <laughs> this thing's pretty nice all right so uh we're going on our annual rv trip across america oh it and, is uh, annual now yeah i mean it's the second time we're doing it so this is annual i'd say yeah, this is gonna be home home, home so for the next better. two weeks This is nice. Be Big shout out to GoGo -Go Rental for uh, yeah. hooking us up with this thing. What up? What up? What's up, dude? Got Ken some toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! We need like an HVAC fan going out of that bathroom. Between Keep Ken and Evan in there, the dude. Time you'll be good. <laughs> Seriously, right. this is your spot for the next yeah. two weeks, right? I mapped it out in like city to city. I think we're at like 7,000 miles in the next two weeks. Not including all the other driving. So we're going Colorado, Utah, Vegas, and then like Southern California, and then we're ending in LA. All in two weeks. It's gonna be jam packed. Still vaping, Ken? Quentin? Quentin? Yeah. How many calls did you get? Well, an iPhone can hold 100 calls and it was, they were all red. <laughs> Obviously, we're not taking off this video. So, next week, Thursday, you'll see the first leg of the trip. So, be ready for that. But uh, on to whatever we have coming after this. Happened. Oh, dude! I was literally gonna move it after oh, this. I was gonna bring shit. this upstairs and be like, I should move it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, oh I told you all day. I was like, you should move your Bronco. You look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Told us so. Dude, that was wild. All right, so uh, we ran a giveaway on the snowmobile. The guy that won it is in Wisconsin, which is only two states over. I think it's like a five hour drive. We've always wanted to just like randomly show up to their house and be like, hey, you won this. But it's always been like pretty far away. So uh, today's our opportunity. We're gonna just show up to his house and just surprise him with this. And I really hope he's home. You do know Wisconsin's one state over, right? No? Yeah. Oh, f <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me. <laughs> so Ryan did get a hold of his dad and was able to confirm that he'll be home. So his dad knows, but supposedly he doesn't. Should we just walk in? Hopefully it's this one, because then there's no windows. Howdy. How's it hey, going? Tanner's in there. Right. Right. What's up? Oh, How's it going? What's going, What's going on, dude? On, you tanning? Maybe they're I am. Nice to meet you. Damn, you even got Seaboy sweatshirt on? Yeah. Did you know we were coming? Well, yeah, he called us this morning and let us know. <laughs> no! He didn't tell oh, you, did he? Oh! <laughs> 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 he has no clue you're here. 
You are. Uh, you oh won my. the sled. That is sick. Something about Tanner, you don't get excited about too much. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking about doing the good old fashioned FaceTime call, but we were hoping that we'd get a better reaction if we showed up. <laughs> Unreal. You're private on everything, dude. You were pretty hard to track down. I called your parents like 20 times and they were like, is this a scam? And I was like, no, I just need to know if he's gonna be home. <laughs> How many times did they hang up on you? Uh, a couple, I think. <laughs> is he excited? I can't tell. He is. <laughs> How'd she feel? To have a sled again. You should tell your mom they showed up and they robbed all of our stuff out of the garage. <laughs> She'd be like, I knew it! Real people. Believe it or not. No scams. I'm sorry. No scams, no, don't worry about it. Later guys. Later. Good kid. Bit of a talker, but he's a good kid. <laughs>